Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are checking out a game called The Medium. Now, this is a game from Blooper Team, and if you don't know who Blooper Team are, they've done some real classics in the horror genre, such as Layers of Fear, Observer, and The Blair Witch Project, and this is their latest game for Xbox and PC. It's called The Medium, and it's heavily inspired by one of my favourite horror game franchises, Silent Hill. So I'm actually really excited to dive into this one. It's meant to have a really neat mechanic where you can switch between two worlds and sort of view two worlds at the same time to solve puzzles and stuff and it's meant to be a really kind of creepy psychological horror game it's just come out and it is available on game pass if you guys want to check it out there i got a hold of it slightly early thanks to blooper team so thank you for the early access and we're going to check out roughly the first hour in today's video now if you guys do enjoy this series and the first video does well i'll continue otherwise this will just be a one-off video where we take a little first look at the medium and perhaps i'll do like a story explained video down the line or something Either way guys, let's jump into the medium and see what this game is all about. It all starts with a dead girl. Lovely. I'm guessing this is the girl in question that's going to be soon dead. Always happens in a forest, doesn't it? We're always in some kind of like spooky like forest or woodland. It's where all the crime goes down. I guess because no one's watching. Oh no, what? He's just gonna shoot her? Stone cold? Man, that's a bit of a somber start. Surely it can only get happier from here on. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon scent of pines and then the gunshot the girl kind of looks like her didn't it I'm guessing it's meant to be this woman right she called Marianne or something she looks a bit dirty it always felt so real the blood on my cheek the cold sweat running down my skin I'd managed to convince myself it really happened Part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. Well, you don't seem a hundred percent, I'll say that much. Guys, I'm just going to be quiet while this that plays out so that we can rang. all listen to it. And I'll be back when the gameplay starts up. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. To dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. Right, I think we're going to get to play now. The control is going to be passed over. I was almost yep, ready. Yeah, there we go. We're in the game. To find his special tie clip. The tie clip? Okay, what's this? Oh, look. We go into first person mode. We can actually look and investigate. October 2. Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels. 3. Funeral at 10. 4. Ultrasound. 7. Our Lady of the Rosary. 9. Biopsy. So she's 
pregnant, this woman, I'm thinking. Uh, 10, send package to Marianne. 14, neurologist visit. 16, funeral at 12.30. 18, ultrasound. 22nd, uh, neurosurgeon visit. 23rd, funeral at 9 and funeral at 11. There's a lot of funerals going down. Pick up Marianne from a train station on the 27th. And then November, All Saints Day, All Souls Day and surgery. I've got to say, the visuals are nice. These are some nice looking graphics right here. The camera angles are sort of fixed, like the classic Resident Evil and Silent Hill games. Oh, there's a cat. Shit. That actually did yeah. scare me a little bit. Nice to see you too. Can we go up here? Nope. I'm guessing we just follow the cats. Here, kitty kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. So this is Jack. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Well, there you go. That's why there's so many funerals. Um, we've got a picture here. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. So Jack understood her for who she was. Sounds like a nice guy. Can we examine anything else on this desk? Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? You don't get fed if you hiss, cat. Oh, we've got something over here. What is this, medals? Jack was part of the solidarity movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. A strong guy. Where do we go next? Through this door, maybe? Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. I like butterflies. I think they're really like, beautiful creatures. And I always try and help them. If you, you guys ever see like a butterfly in need of help, be sure just to pick it up off the ground, you know, and set it down on a shelf or something so it can fly away. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them to listen. That was the least I could do. So she helped out the orphanage. Good to know. Got a note here. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. It says, Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realise that this behaviour is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. That's from a principal. Okay, so I'm guessing Jack sort of cared for Marianne and looked after her from a young age. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. I see you admission card. So this is from Marianne when she's three years old. And it says, initial diagnosis, second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area. Basically, she was badly burned as a child by the look of it. That's around three years of age. So she's probably got some burn marks going on. I'm going to head this way because it's the only way we haven't sort of gone yet. Oh, look. Yes, we've got more things to look at. We've got a room here. What's this all about? Looks like uh, a cat bowl. Should we feed the cat? I can't. I could put a key in there, a funeral home key, but I don't think the cat would uh, chow down on that. Looks nourishing. 
Here you go, maybe we can take the cat food and feed the cat. There we go. Deposit it over here. Here you go. What's your face? Puzzle solved. Oh, Glad look at the little kitty. Still kicking around. He loves it. We got a trophy, an achievement. Famished feline. Nice. Best trophy ever. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. So she was a photographer by the look of it. She's got like a dark room here. One, illuminate photo for five seconds. Two, dip um, for three seconds, dip in stop for three seconds, dip in fix for three seconds. I actually remember doing this when I was at college years ago. So, we've got to follow these instructions. I've got to go back to my college days and we've got to actually kind of, you know, develop a photo. So, we need to illuminate the, f illuminate the photo for five seconds. So, first of all, we need to put it here and illuminate it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. I actually did that a little bit too long, but never mind. Then we put in here for three seconds. One, two, three. Take that. Okay. Ooh, we're starting to get the picture. This is cool. Next, into this one for three seconds. One, two, three. There you go. And now we take it and dip it in the fixer. One, Two, three. That was the last photo I took. There you go, the perfect. Time. Came out well. I wonder if it can come out like differently depending on like how long you expose it for and stuff. Probably not, but either way, that's kind of a fun little puzzle that we had to solve there. I'm gonna get out of this room now. The cat's been fed, we've got the picture. Let's check out this. What's this uh, all about? Right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. A tie clip would probably be in the laundry, in like a wardrobe or something. So let's go back and have a look. Oh, could this be it? This looks like a tie clip. Oh, it's Come gone. On, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. What's the other way? Press left bumper to activate insight. Ooh, oh, it's there. Nice. So that allows us to sort of see where things are hidden. Right, so we've activated our insight, we've got okay, the tie clip, that's it. now we can get out of here. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. And by goodbye she means to his body before it's buried, yeah? Because <laughs> he's definitely not alive still. Let's get out of here, guys. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides... If it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. These visuals are nice. This is a good looking game, guys. I can only imagine how good it's going to look when we start like traveling between dimensions and stuff. That's going to be incredible. Let's just head on downstairs to see off Jack. Give him the respect that he deserves. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. What's this? The last goodbye funeral home. Oh, we've got the key. Let's unlock it. Progress. Jack's in the prep room. Sometimes a little bit hard to control, but I'll say that much. Is this for prep room here? Yep, it sure is. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. Right, we need to find a key to the that key door then. Be in the office. Um, oh, that looks like a key. Maybe? Yes. Here it is. Good investigation work there, Marianne. What's this all about? It says, Record a funeral. Name of deceased Adam Nowak. Family contacts. Yeah, we know this. 
This is just basically saying what the family wanted. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at this picture. There you go, Marianne and Jack. He kind of like looked out for her through her life. He was more like a father figure to her. Right, this should be the key. Let's do this. Let's be strong. Down here. I wonder if it's like a run button. It's very sort of slow walky at the moment. But I guess it's one of those kind of games where you walk at this pace the game wants you to. I'm sure if we need to run, the game will let us run. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Are we gonna have to like embalm his body or something? Here it is. The body of Jack. Hey, Jack. Let's take it out. Right, okay. Um, I'll check it out. Here we go, the tie clip. Let's I apply that. Your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Hmm. We need we need to discover where the tie is. Oh, it's just here, literally, but <laughs> beside his body. So that was quite an easy one. We've got to combine the two items. There we go. Now we should be able to Snazzy. apply the tie you to his collar. Any other way. There we are. Puzzle solved. I didn't expect this to be easy. Tying ties in a video game. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But... Am I? Ready for the afterlife now. Always hard to say goodbye to a loved one. This game is kind of like, uh, <laughs> kind of depressing right now. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <gasps> Doesn't seem like it's any normal kind of visitor. Is this going to be our first demon sighting? I would not like that. We're in a morgue. That would be like the worst place for a power cut to happen. Especially if you're a little bit like superstitious like me. I just, I don't know, I wouldn't dig that at all. How do we even get out of here? I can't see. Oh my god, what's that on the stairs? The heck is that? That is nuts, man. I don't want to walk towards that. We've got no option. So our only way out is to follow the shadow. Man, this is creepy. This is not nice. What the heck? That door shut. Does it want us to go in? Surely we don't want to follow that. What the hell? There's another shadow. It says go upstairs. You felt it too, huh? Let's to investigate this. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, we're going to the other world. Oh my god, that's so cool! That was instant, no loading. Where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late! So it's like showing us both worlds at the same time. Marianne? Oh, oh, Marianne, are you... are you crying, my child? I... So this is the world of the dead, then? Jack. Because Jack's there. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. 
forget the notebook. He's got eternity oh, no. to rest. I've got so much. <laughs> We've got his head though. Here. It's okay. He's got I massive hole in. Can't just what? let it go. Uh, it's not important. You, you are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey, Jack. Yeah. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Hmm? Don't worry about it. No. It's time to get uh, some rest. Oh, Marianne. That's so weird how she's like in both realities. I, I, Can't get used to it. I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital. Yeah, that surgery didn't go so well you for you. Sure you're gonna uh, be all right. Hate to break it to you. Yes, Jack. It's gonna be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I promise. Look at her eyes as well, and her hair, obviously. In this sort of alternate reality. Alright, Jack. It's like Devil May Cry or something. Get some rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. So we've helped him out. We've sort of freed him from where he was trapped. It seems like this world is a place where souls can become trapped before the afterlife. Yeah, off you go now. We've had a long conversation with you. So she said goodbye to him. She's freed him. I'm guessing this is what we're going to try and do throughout the game is free souls trapped in this other world. But of course there must be enemies as well, like, trying to get Most us. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Yeah, that's got to be tough. No two ways about it. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, no, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. It always does. It always does, my Neva friends. Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Alright. So, I'm guessing we've just done the intro, basically, and now we're going to get into sort of the action, so to speak. Although, this isn't like a sort of an action game, but you know what I mean. We're going to get into, like, the true spooks. Here we go, yeah, we're just getting the intro. Wow, that was like... 25 minutes or something and we've just got to the intro so this is set in Poland this game by the way guys so I'm guessing this is all like shots from around Poland here you go the medium and it shows like the split realities on the title that's pretty cool 
Alright, so we've done the intro. Let's see what the first little part of the game has to offer now. Riding into the woods. These kind of look like the woods. But we saw the little girl version of Marianne uh, running through at the beginning. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. I don't know if I would uh, really trust that. You know, like someone just randomly calls me and goes, Hey, guess what? I can uh, give you some answers. Although, maybe if all that like weird stuff had just happened to you, you'd be like, kind of do want to know what's going on here. Maybe I'll take a risk on this random stranger. Here we go. Looks like we've got to our destination now. I just want to play this game. It's had a lot of cutscenes so far, and I do like that, but I am itching to like get some sort of hands-on with the actual game now. See what it's all about. Probably going to be quite a long episode, guys, because I do want to show you a bit more past the intro. Right, here we are. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Okay. We've got to find a way in. Anyone home? I guess not. Hmm. What's this? Postcard of some kind. Can we, like, rotate that? Niwa says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons, lots of families, and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. I wish you could be here with me. Miss you, F. The F stands for Freddy. Freddy Fazbear, that is. Not really. Okay, let's check this. Ooh. Hello? Thomas? Okay, he's just wandering off on his own. Probably should go and get him. Can we jump through here? Nope. Oh, it looks, if my eyes don't deceive me, guys, like we can go around here and jump over the dumpster. I just noticed that. Look, here. Brilliant. Clever little puzzle. They sort of directed you to that through the open window. I've got to say, I mean, I, to I keep banging on that. about it, but the visuals, man, are nuts in this game. This is a proper next-gen looking game. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned <gasps> vacation resort. Yay! Until one day it just stopped. Finally, I can and run. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses, you know. The usual. The usual uh, tales that people tell. Sure. Ooh, a fork in the path. It seems like this is the way that we should be going. So I'm just going to go this way. Nothing strange about that. <laughs> Random child's ball rolling through the woods. It's now disappeared. Okay. See, at that point, I would be, like, putting two and two together and thinking, probably a ghost girl. Um, I'd be thinking of The Ring, The Grudge, all those kind of movies, and I would be out of there. Ooh, left bumper for insights. Huh. We've got some child's footprints. Okay. Once again, I would be turning around and running off. But this is a horror game, so we must proceed forward. Further into the woods, further away from safety further away from our bike. Man, I don't want to keep running. <laughs> I think someone's going to jump out at us or something. Here we go. Let's keep going, though. If something's going to jump us. We're prepared. We're ready. What's this? T and K. 
1968. Wait, can we use our insight there? Wait, let me have a look, actually. Insight now. <gasps> Here we go. We've got a handprint. Don't think we can do anything with that, but... Still, good to know. Now, where do the footprints lead next? This way, I think. Look, there's another handprint here. So we're having to use the insight for clues, like, all over the woods. Um, I don't see any more at the moment. I'll just keep going forward. So cinematic. Huh. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. An old fort. Hmm. I'm sure the structure is perfectly sound and it's safe to explore. Not going to cave in or anything. Alright, where do we go next, Dan? Maybe down here? To this gate? Read. Warning, due to the recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. They found dinosaur bones, guys. Here we go, got some footprints Something going this way. Here. Squeeze on through. It's probably going to cave in as we go through and there's be no going back. This bit reminds me of like the Tomb Raider games. Ooh. The wow. split would okay. come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. So we control her in both realities, that's insane. Like, look, I have full control over this now. I kind of like her look in the um, sort of realm of the dead or whatever it is because she has that kind of cool white hair. She looks a bit like the Witcher or something, doesn't she? Like a female version of a Witcher. I'm going to head through this. Kind of looks like we need to go up here. Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. Okay. So one reality affects the other equally. Let's check this then. Dead. Hmm, look at it all overgrown in like place. the other world. Kind of nasty. So we need to figure out a way to power that. Okay, let's check out down here maybe. There's another way this way. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. Guys, look how creepy that looks. All those people, like, just sort of frozen in that kind of weird skin-like stuff. But we've got an item here that we can collect. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Who knows, but I'll tell you what, I bet we can use that power to power up the little electric box over here and then we can get through the sealed gate. So let's try that. Let's jog on back. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Did it work? Yes, so it did. That worked. Nice. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. 
There we are, guys. We solved our first otherworldly so puzzle. Was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Now we have to head on. And it's getting windier, it's getting mistier, colder. All the things you wouldn't want when you're stuck out in the woods. Caution, fire hazard. What? What's the fire hazard? There's trees all over. This isn't good. This really reminds me of Silent Hill. The atmosphere is like really cool. Like look at how his birds just take off there. Um, is there anything we can see with our spirit tracker over here? Oh look there is, there's a dead deer. Oh. What happened to you? Am I allowed to investigate what happened to it? Guess not. It's gonna be a mystery. Probably just got shot by a poacher or something, I imagine, but then you then again it could be a demon that's got it. You never know. Especially in a game like this. I just don't know which way I'm going anymore. I like I'm just kind of following the general direction I think it wants me to take. It's so cool though the way the camera keeps changing, it's kind of um, presenting different like angles like a movie or something. to the main building. There we go, we've now swapped completely over to the other world and back. What the hell? Look like there's a huge like energy source coming from this building. The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Then why are we going towards it? <laughs> Let's just go back. What's this? Ooh. What is happening? Oh, the phone's ringing. Okay, let's answer. Maybe it's that guy again. Hold left bumper and L to find the echo. Oh, it's there. I'm here. No, there's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. I have no idea where this is headed. But obviously, the guy that called us might not be all that he seems. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. I think I just saw something run past the screen in there. So it probably means when we go in here, there's going to be some kind of enemy stalking us. And I don't think this game's got combat. I think this is one of those games where you have to like sneak past everything. Um, oh, we've got an object in there. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Shit, the handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Okay, the handle's missing, so we need to replace it. Oh. Huh? So you can just giggled at us. Wait a second. If we can open that door, look, there's a little sort of grabber on that ledge up there. We can push the dumpster over to there and get through the open window. So first we need to locate, guys, a kind of lever or handle for the door. To be honest, it's probably safer outside anyway. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? I think we could probably use the door handle Doubling from the car, a spare right? Bedroom, apparently. We've got a postcard here, guys, in the car. And it says 
My love, summer in full swing, the resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means, more work for yours truly. But it's good work, honest work. Mr. Rekowitz uh, said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up, not this time, promise. And that's from F again, from our good friend Freddy. And ooh, we've got Not a screwdriver. I'll take that. Although, this could come in handy. Yeah, that can definitely be used to jimmy Ow! the door open. Whoa. Shit! What the hell? I'm not going to hang about to wait and see why that car just beeped at us. And <laughs> just go back and use the screwdriver on the door and hopefully this lets us into the building. And we can do our little dumpster climbing act again. Okay, let's open the door up, guys, with the screwdriver. There we go. That did the trick. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Now we can get this and push it. There you go. All planned out just as we uh, anticipated, or at least so far. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Miva. You better be worth it. I feel like we're going to be disappointed. <laughs> we're just going to get terrorized soon by something. Okay, let's climb up here and head on inside. Lovely work. No going back now, we've just dropped down. There's no dumpster on the other side, I don't think. So we've got inside the hotel, we've done that objective. It would be kind of cool if you could switch between like worlds at any point, you know, just tap a button and it happens. Like, Hello? Maybe you can at some point. Anyone? Thomas? You there? Oh yeah, there's a little thing we can look at here, a poster. Travel in style, travel in comforts. Oh, and we've got something else here as well. That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be, but it, it looks a bit creepy. Spring. News information and practical advice for a modern lady. The Forefathers Wells, a new literary bestseller by Joanne... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. C can, no, I shouldn't have tried to pronounce that. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. A magazine for the modern lady, it says. Ooh, we've got something here as well. Sinners be damned. Lovely. Let's just head towards the light. A flashlight, that would be so useful right now. And come on, it's a horror game. We've got to get a flashlight soon, right? Ooh. Hello? Thomas? That would be so creepy. You just hear his little bell ringing on the reception desk. Easy, Mary. And the light's gone out now. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Yeah, just a normal haunted hotel. Let's ring the bell, I guess. See if the old ghosts come out. I'd like to book in, please. Oh, there's that ball again. Great. Probably means creepy ghost girl is about to show up. <laughs> Another one of these. We're in. Oh my god, what the heck is that? You startled me. There's our ghost girl, guys. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> I'm sadness. 
Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, well, uh, I, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't do that ever again. Boring again. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So... Tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. This is where the bad guys I, are going to start showing up, isn't it? I was it? wondering, have you seen the hotel Marianne? guests that are angry? She's talking about. Yes. Oh, would you play with me, just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. And I kind of feel bad, but, but I, I don't really want to play with this girl. First. You know, I don't want to play like tic tac toe or whatever. Yes. Yes. Anything, it's not the place. It's not the time. Thomas, do you know him? And she kind of freaks me out. Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, Take your time. Uh, oh yeah, the second floor. We can look there. Come on, hurry! Oh, wait. Man. Maybe we'll play Scrabble. I can't go that way. Oh, great. There. Oh yeah, because the staircase is eroded in our world. There somehow. Well, no scrabble for you then. Looks like I'm playing by myself. Here we go, we got an achievement, guys. The cheerful kind. We've got to find a way to get upstairs next. Oh wait, can we interact with this? Hey. An elevator. <gasps> no way. As well see if it works. Please work. Floor two? Nice, it actually works. No way. In both worlds. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Well, it's probably not going to be Joy, is it? Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and. <gasps> There's a power box on the other side. Hold B for an out of body experience. What? Let go. This is awesome. Okay, so now we can sort of press there. A to fix a the box. box. Need some energy to spark it up. Okay, we need energy. Is there any energy if we go a bit further? Gotta move fast. Great. Gotta be a, gotta be like Sonic guys. Gotta move fast. Uh, let's run down here, maybe. An out of body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long, and it just. Pulls you in. We don't want to get trapped in here. Oh, it's getting really, really dark. Back in, like, the real world, if you look at the top screen, guys. So I'm going to have to be really fast. Let's get this energy. Okay, now we need to head back. Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back. Wow, look, she's disintegrating as well on the bottom screen, guys. Look. There's almost nothing left. Press B to return to our bodies. I've got to try and get back before we disintegrate. I'm going to keep going. We're going to make it. I'm not going to stop until we get back. 
Come on, a little bit further. Please, Marianne, you can do it. There, uh, yes. There we go. Go back to the body. <gasps> nice, we made it. Guys, that was so close. I actually thought we were going to, like, die then. I don't think we can do anything more on this floor, guys. Let's try going to floor two next. Because that floor is pretty much a whole lot of nothing. Here okay. we go. We're on floor two. Now where did she go? Now to find the girl. Nothing that way. Can I go through this door? Oh, wait. We can see her footprints. They kind of lead over here. Oh, no. She came up this way. So I'm guessing they lead to this door over here. Maybe not. Oh, no. Up here. Oh, wow. Look at these visuals, man. This look, looks crazy. Uh, what is... That looks like a moth. <gasps> she likes butterflies, but in this world... Butterflies are moths because it's like the opposite, I guess. We got a door here. Can we enter through this, maybe? Okay. Not getting through here. Not getting through here. There is a door handle there, though. Hmm. Okay. So we'll leave that for now. Let's keep going forward. What is that? Oh, moths. <laughs> Press RB to summon your spirit shield. Okay. Holy shit. So we summon the spirit shield when I moths didn't come. Even know I could okay. Do that. Killer moths, guys. Press and hold B for out of body experience. Okay, cool. So let's check out this room. What's this? A key. Oh, perhaps we can use that on the door that we couldn't get through before. Seems quite logical to uh, conclude that, right, guys? Sadness. Let's head back out. I'm going to jog back to where we were before. Um... Use the old key. Get through the door. And now we can enter in both realities. Nice. There we are. Okay, we're making progress. We're cooking with gas, as they say. Through the creepy hole in the wall. Maybe there's a way we can climb up through the other side. I'm not sure. Interesting. Maybe we can go into the bathroom and... Oh, yeah, look, we can just walk straight through. Okay, and we've got a phone here. Let's call for help, maybe. Seems like a good time. Find some insights. There we go. Yes, I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Yeah. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. That voice is pretty creepy. It sounds a little bit like uh, Troy Baker, actually, that voice. I think it probably Looks is. Like the only way. He's in like every video Great. game these days. Can we dive down? I don't know why we did that, because that was not a good idea. Now we're absolutely stuck. <laughs> There's no way back up that way. This room. It feels cold. Memories of grief. Loneliness. Hmm. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. So this is Ursula Anna Ruskowski, age 41. Um, case history it says she was diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition. Uh, treated with electroshock. Wow, okay. Probably not the best way to treat someone. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just 
squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Oh, no way! We're putting the memories of the past back together. There we go. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. This game has some really cool mechanics. We just like reassembled the sort of memories of a past fair. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to keep exploring. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm going to need more energy to get through. Right, we need to find energy to blast away the moths. What's this weird picture all about? Eerie drawings of a sad nurse. I'm guessing maybe sadness drew this. So we can't head on at the moment. We're going to need to find some energy to sort of blast through the moths here. What's this all about? It's totally different in the spirit world. I keep forgetting to check the other screen. Uh, focus on the spirit world. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. Okay. It's like it's missing something. What can we find to put in there? Oh, can we do out of body experience here? Oh, shit. Whoa. This is falling apart. <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Can I just kind of pull it apart? Is that skin? Yeah, I think we can just rip it apart. I've got nothing. We need to find like a knife or something to slash that, I think, guys. Maybe we can like our out-of-body experience to sort of shuffle along, along this ledge. Oh, God. Here we go. I hate this. It works. Eureka. Where are we going? Oh, look, we can put another memory together by the look of it. Can I uh, absorb this? Hmm. Don't know what any of this stuff does. Oh, we're starting to dis uh, disintegrate as well. We need to be quicker. I better be fast here, guys, because we are absolutely disappearing like super quick. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? What the hell was that? That actually scared me. We're well, gonna have to get back to our body pretty quickly at this point though. <laughs> There's some kind of monster in here. It's just like Resident Evil, you drain the bathtub, there's like a key there or so. This thing. We've got like a razor. Limits. Guilt. Shame. Regret. Right, so now we've got the weird razor made out of bone. Hopefully we can cut through this skin. If only I had something sharp. We do. Oh, we actually get to cut through it with a stick. We put the thumbstick down, it slices it. It's so gross. Yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. It was kind of satisfying, actually. It was quite fun, that part. <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. Okay, so next, what do we do? We've got a dead sunflower. Maybe if we water it, bring it back to life, or give it some like nut nutrients, then... It will give us the energy source in the other world. I reckon that's what maybe we do. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. We have to put this memory back together. Almost. Almost. 
You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess! Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? The plot thickens. I'm gonna check in here, see if we can get some water for this plant, maybe. Got a faucet here. Oh, wait. Yeah, we've got a tear here we can examine. You... <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing! <laughs> there have been times when I thought about ending it all. But I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. I'm not sure what we want to be doing in here. This could be useful. Oh, we just pick up the, the sunflower. Light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. Okay. So maybe we take this and plant it in the other sort of plant pot in the other room. Here we go. We'll put this in the vase. And now there. we're able to now get solved. the energy. Nice. Puzzle solved. And hopefully we can blast through the moths with this now. There we go. Allows us to pass. Like moths. There's so many of them. I hope the spirit energy holds out. Always we get swarmed. Nice. There we go. And there we are. We're on to the next area of the game, guys. I kind of want to like find this girl and then like see the cutscene, and then I think we'll end like part one of this. And obviously, if you guys want to see more, just support the video if it gets enough views and you guys seem like you're enjoying it. I'll continue this playthrough and do a part two. Need to push this out the way and then we can get through that door. Is this where the girl's gone? Yeah, it looks like it. Sadness, are you there? Oh, we're going to have to slice through it again with this our little knife. Strong. At least you don't get just like a one-time use out of this knife. You can have it as many times as you want. There we are. But it looks like there's moths on the other side. Oh, no. Here we go. Use our shield. I was pressing the wrong button there. We've still got our shield energy. We can get through the moths. Oh, no. Maybe we can't. Maybe we can't. Maybe we can't. Maybe we can't. Just run. That was very close. We've got literally no energy now. The screen is black and white. Hopefully it replenishes over time. Reclaiming history. What's this say? Reclaiming history. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Pulaski, a once impenetrable fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks that marked the grand opening of Niwa Workers' Resort. The event was attended by the leaders of the party, including the first secretary who had this to say during the gala. Let this site of victorious struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Liberated in January of 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historic landmark is currently undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. The Newell Workers Resort will welcome its first guests by the end of June. A little bit of history for us. Hmm. 
manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, God. And here we go, we found her. Sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. What? All right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? Uh, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. Blah. Hey. <laughs> okay, generalize it. That's not very harsh. nice. You don't look great yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not in the best still shape. Around. I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel. Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, sadness. Look, there's no one. And a monster here. just like grabs her. Sadness? Oh, she's gone again. Why? She keeps disappearing on us. How are we meant to protect her if she keeps doing that? Alright, guys. Well, we've got to the next area of the game. Who knows where sadness has gone? Who knows where this mystery is leading? And who knows where this game will go next? But with that said, I have come to the end of part one of the medium. And with that said, guys, thank you for watching today. I'm really enjoying it so far. It seems like it has, you know, a few little issues here and there with, like, the controls and some of the puzzles are a little bit kind of strange. But I'm overall enjoying it. I think the visuals are amazing. The sound design is incredible. And the basic mechanics are, like, I've never seen any game like it before with the dual realities that's like really cool so yeah definitely going to keep an eye on this one keep playing it and see where it goes and potentially we'll be continuing it on the channel if the support is there for this to be a full series remember to leave a like if you have enjoyed the video comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and i will see you all on the next one